Hello everybody, this is Melanie with Mel Mel Stamps coming to you with video number four. I'm going to make a card today. It's a kind of a fun card and we're going to put it together a little bit differently than we usually do. We're going to go backwards. We're going to do the inside of the card first. I like to have four by five and a quarter inch pieces of, of white, Whisper White cardstock cut out and ready for the inside of my cards. And we're going to decorate this one and stamp the greeting. I'm going to use the Ornate Style um, stamp set and Ornate Thanks. These are from the Ornate Garden um, Suite that you can order now before the new catalog goes live. It's kind of like a um, sneak peek and it's going to be in the new catalog. So I chose to use these beautiful stamp sets for our card today. First of all, I'm going to choose Early Espresso ink and I've got this big thank you stamp out of the ornate thanks th stamp set I'm just going to stamp thank you in this card by the way thanks for joining today thank you and I'm going to stamp it kind of maybe a quarter of the way down so big thank you then I'm going to take the Daffodil Delight stamp pad, one of my favorite yellows, and this Daisy stamp from the Ornate Style stamp set. Just putting that in the corner, like so. So that's going to be the inside of our card. So we're going to set that aside. Now I want to do a couple elements for the outside of our card. And what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to stamp this daisy again in the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to stamp it off. When you want something not as bright on the paper, you can stamp it on your mat and then stamp it on your paper. And then you get a lighter effect there. It's called stamping off. Now I've taken one of these greetings. I've got... Um, which one did I do? You are amazing. You're amazing. Right here. And just a little greeting. And I'm going to stamp it in the early espresso. And then on top of this daisy. Right there. Okay. So there's our greeting for the front of the card. Let me show you um, where I got... Well, let me show you first what I'm going to put it on. This is one of the um, frames from the Ornate Frames die pack that goes with the Ornate Suite. comes with the Ornate Suite. It has a lot of fun dies. These are the dies that come in that. Scoot those over. We're done with the stamping. And so I chose to use this one to cut out to put on with my greeting. And then I looked through my oval, my layering oval dies, and none of them were thin enough. So I started digging through my die collection and I came across the detailed, let's see, what does it say? Detailed bands dies. These are really fun dies. And they have this oval. And it's just the right size to go in the middle of that. So that's what I did. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to grab some Stampin' Dimensionals. That's what I want to use for that. And just take a couple of them. These are the mini ones. You could use either side. These are either size, the regular or the mini. And just put that on here. So, we've got, smeared it just a little bit, sorry. So now we've got the inside of the card and the greeting for the outside of the card. And now we're going to need a card base for that. That's where the fun comes in and the fun fold for our card. So I'm just going to set these up for when we can need them again. And now what I've got is, 
I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and this is mint macaron, and I cut it in half. So I get two cards per sheet, just like always. But cutting this in half gives me a little idea for a fun fold. So I had an extra one in there. And I'm gonna show you how to make this fun fold. So I'm gonna put it up this way so it's lengthwise up. And then just take this top part, put it to the edge, right in the corner there, and I'm going to crease it with the bone folder. Now I tried doing this with, um, with scoring it in the right places, but I could never get the scoring right, and I realized that it's just so much easier to do it this way. And then I'm going to take the other side and have it just meet up with that and crease it. So then we have a little fun fold, cult, fold card right there that we can decorate pretty. So when it opens up, it's going to be like that. Now this is the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And it's double-sided. And it's got the um, gold foil accents in there. And I chose to use that paper. And for this card, I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of paper cut. I'm going to cut it from end to end. Now, if I want it to put on this card, I'm going to have to look and see how I want to cut it. I don't want to do it backwards. So let's see. We want it to be this way so that it will have the top and the bottom like that. Otherwise, we'd have to turn it around, and this is the pattern that I want to show up on the outside. So I've cut that in half with my paper trimmer. And then, then we can glue those on to decorate our card a little bit. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can have it go right to the center, like so. Or you can cut it a little bit smaller, which would be, I have that written down here somewhere, but which would be the, um, instead of four, it would be three and seven eighths, and instead of five and a quarter, it's going to be five and an eighth. And then you can leave a little edge there around both of them. Now mine, I wanted it to be a surprise card. I want this to look like it's just a normal card, nothing fancy. Just your normal card. I'm going to cut this little piece off. It's just kind of bothering me right there. So then when you glue these on, I'm going to glue these with the snail. I'm going to get the corners really good so they don't peel up. You're going to glue them right up to the edge of this and then you're going to leave about an eighth of an inch around the outside. Like so. Then you'll take the other one and do the same thing. Get those corners. I've noticed on some that I've made the corners peel up a little bit. So I just want to get the snail adhesive on there really good. Then this one's going to go right up to the edge also. One thing about this is you can close this and make sure that it goes up to the edge like so and leaves your little border around this outside. And then we have our fun fold card that we can add our other elements to. So we've got the thank you. I'm going to put that inside. I just want to leave a little edge around there too. So that makes a perfect size for the inside of the card, the inside greeting. So when they open it, it's a big thank you. And then I've made this for the outside of the card. I'm just going to put adhesive on half of it. And just adhere half of it on there. I did this in the paper as early espresso cardstock to make it pop, because this is kind of a busy um, background there. 
So the darker makes the same pop a little bit. Then I added some mint macaron textile ribbon. It's beautiful, it's got some sparkles in it. And some of the gilded gems. These come with the ornate garden suite also. They all coordinate together. And I put those on the front. And here's our card. Such a quick little fun fold card. And when you first look at it, it just looks like a normal card. Just a normal card. But no, surprise, it's a thank you card and it is a fun fold card. There you have it. There's your fun fold card. Um, you're amazing. Thanks for joining today and for watching my video number four. Um, I'll be back next week with video number five. And you have a wonderful week and happy stamping.